This is a Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom released in 2013, and we're gonna try vlogging on it. It's a camera that can make phone calls. Well, it used to be able to. It's a bit impractical, but it's got some cool features like an SD card slot. It had a tripod mount right here. And it also had an aux port, unlike most devices today don't, but that's for another video. One of the coolest things is that it's also got a flash and the camera actually has like this plastic cover so that can't get damaged, which is pretty rad. Also the battery, unlike most devices, is very removable. You literally just unclip this thing, you push down and over, and the battery slides out. It's almost like Samsung did this to help their users. It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah. Anyways, I wanna see if we can vlog on this thing. I've never vlogged before in my life, but I want to test the camera resolution and the video to see if it makes a pretty good video. Anyways, let's get started. So today is my wife's birthday. First, I'm gonna go to the gym, and then I'm going to run to the store and get her some cake, as well as some food that she really likes. First the gym, then we're gonna go get her some surprise gifts and surprise her on her birthday. What do you guys think of the camera quality? Is this, is this vlog worthy? Would you guys vlog on this thing? Obviously, it's not the most, uh, not the most practical phone in 2022, so. I'll see you guys in a bit. The first thing I always do when I go to the gym is run for about 15 to 20 minutes. Wanted to check if there's any stabilization features of this device and there's obviously not. But hey, it got the job done and we can see that I was running. After I ran for about a mile and a half, I decided to switch over to some deadlifts and I never lift heavy, but I do some higher repetition deadlifts. I usually start with around 135 and do around 10 repetitions. I then throw some more weight on and do a, in quotations, heavier set. It's really not that heavy. I'm not a believer in heavy lifting just because my dad's hips are shot, which I believe are partially due because of heavy lifting. But I love building up a sweat from lifting weights, and that's the reason why I still do deadlifts, squats, and some other core lifts. I don't know if any of my viewers lift weights or go to the gym, but I find um, mentally it helps me a lot to go to the gym in the morning. So... Next stop, we are going to go pick up some cake and dinner for my wife for her birthday. So we got to the grocery store and I just wanted to show the video capabilities of this device. I am zooming in about 10x and it's still got a pretty dang clear shot. I went over to some office buildings and the same thing. Personally, it's pretty impressive. All right, let's do some shopping for my wife's birthday dinner. First thing is we went straight over to the drinks and we needed to get some Diet Coke. This is our favorite drink, not for any health benefits. We just love the way Diet Coke tastes. Now, my wife is from Brazil and she loves Brazilian cuisine. So we got some pineapple here and we're going to cut this up and barbecue it on the barbecue throw some cinnamon on that. Mmm, nothing like some churrascaria. Oh yeah, don't forget the cake. Okay, uh, these cakes look utterly disgusting. Let's go over to the other one. It, oh yes, there is one cheesecake left. This has my wife's name all over it. We're gonna go ahead and snag that for ourselves. New York style cheesecake coming up. Now, when I went to get the steaks, I got really lucky here. We're looking for top sirloin for a cut called Brazilian Picanha. And this was the only one right here. Holy crap, 25 bucks. Okay, this looks good. So with top sirloin, they leave a thick layer of fat on the bottom. That's exactly what we're looking for. Look at this. I got the only one. Lucky, lucky day. Now, I also got some chicken hearts. Again, this is Brazilian cuisine. If you're ever wondering who the heck eats chicken hearts, uh, it's pretty big in Brazil. So we got one of these, and this should hold us up for a good barbecue. Now, I'm just showing you guys what I got on the cart. I don't know about you, but I'm super impressed by the camera quality on this device. We got some beef patties as well. It's recording in 16 megapixels, 30 frames per second. Again, I'm just showing you guys everything I got here for my wife, as well as some Diet Coke and some pineapple. Seriously, check out the zoom on this pineapple right here. That's freaking impressive. I think I'm at 5X right here. When I got all the way to 10X, it got blurry, but here's some of the Diet Coke with the camera. Just looking that over. Pretty crystal clear, pretty crystal clear if you ask me. 
I checked out, I got all this loaded up, and when I went to check out, I actually found out that Winco does not take credit cards. So I had to go back to my car and transfer funds onto my debit card because I didn't have any money on my debit card. Anyways, we bought all this and we got a pretty good deal. Yeah, things are becoming expensive in 2022, but we got all of this and now we are going to go home, surprise my wife with this cake right here, and begin her birthday dinner. So, good stuff, right? Okay, guys, so I have arrived at home. I took the cheesecake out of the We're going trunk. to go uh, knock on the door and surprise my wife with it, so... Let's see. Happy birthday, yeah. man. <laughs> All right, guys, say hi to Pumpkin, which is a menace to society. <laughs> Happy birthday, babe. Thank you. Now I gotta go get the rest of the stuff. Pumpkin. So that's 10, what the? That's 10X right here, which is pretty dang good. So, okay. all right, I'll see you guys when we start the barbecue. All right, so my friend Alex is here. Alex, say hello to... What's up? He's, he's pretty shy. How do you feel that you're 28, babe? I feel the same, I feel like I am 20. Wow, she feels younger. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, how does that look, guys? It's uh, looking pretty warm. Fiery hot. That's exactly what we want. Hopefully I'm not ruining this camera. It actually looks like it's falling out of the tripod. So, next step, we're gonna go get the picanha. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that goodness. So my wife taught me how to cut and cook picanha. One of the main things is you always want to leave the fat on the bottom of the cut. You cook it so it's seared to a crisp. And the only thing you really need to season this with is salt. Usually thicker rock salt, but we don't have any. This is a huge piece of fat. You cook this entire thing and oh, it is so, so good. But yeah, you really just need to season with salt. Uh, I'm using like Montreal steak salt, but usually it's just like straight up salt. That's all you need. Uh, it's super, super, super good. But this is like my wife's favorite thing right here. And picanha or churrascaria to Brazilians is very, very common. So, oh, it's starting to smoke. It's starting to smoke, boys. It's starting to smoke. Steak seasoning, I know you're only supposed to use salt. I know, I'm going off the rails here. All right, we're gonna close this. And jump cut, because I forgot to press record. This is the steaks, as well as some hamburgers and another jump cut. We've got the last few hamburgers and the chicken hearts on some skewers. I will tell you what, these are really good. Although now I think about it, that is a lot of dead chickens because chickens only, <laughs> chickens only have one heart, right? Don't worry, we'll eat them all. All right, get ready for another jump cut. This is the final dish. We've got vinaigrette, we've got rice, and here are the picanha cuts. This is Guanana Antarctica. Give us some more information, Danny. Um, Guarana is the... <laughs> wow. It is the official Brazilian drink. The official sponsor of Brazilian soccer team. Wow, an official sponsor of Brazil is Guarana. So, there it is. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Danielle! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! you. Yay. Yay! 
So altogether, that was probably the worst vlog of all time, but hey, I'm glad I documented it and I really do love my wife a lot and happy birthday to her. What did you guys think about the camera quality? I personally was super, super impressed. Unfortunately, it's like one of the only things that work on this phone. For example, if I go to YouTube, YouTube needs to be updated. And if I go to update that through the Play Store, it doesn't let me because the Play Store just constantly crashes. So I've tried opening through Chrome. I've tried opening through other apps. It just does not work. As you can see here, it'll bring me back to the Play Store and it still does not load. There's no download or update option. The next best thing is going through the Chrome web browser and just watching YouTube on the browser, which is fine, but it's not the YouTube app. I guess that would make sense considering this runs on Android 4.4.2, which is crazy. I will say it's pretty cool going into applications like Calendar and tinkering with that. I think the layout is super cool. And when you click on the tabs or do different motions, it's funny to hear, I guess what you would consider vintage icon sounds, which is really cool. Same goes when you go to the texting applications and you use swipe to text. It's really cool that that was a thing even back in 2013. I personally haven't been using smartphones for longer than, let's see, my first smartphone I got when I was 21. I'm now 28, so I kind of missed the boat on these older devices, but it's cool that this stuff works. Now, I was able to view the apps I've downloaded to my account, like my Gmail account through the Play Store, and I tried downloading a ton of these. Obviously, none of them are compatible, but if there is anyone who has jailbreaking information, I would be highly interested. I tried running this GBA uh, emulator, and that did not work. It would tell me each time that there was no connection, which kind of sucks. Testing, 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 testing. If you guys would like me to, I could go deeper into the specs and features of this device. Just let me know down in the comments. I don't want to make this too long of a video, but I thought it was really cool to record a vlog on this. And if you guys thought this was interesting, please subscribe, and I would love to see you guys in the next video. See you guys.